Hi everybody, it's Crystal. So I hope everybody's doing well and staying safe. So um, today I'm going to show you some yarn that I got from an, an Andy Dyer off of Etsy. You know that I always love to support small businesses when I can. Um, first off, I will say that I do not have a tutorial for this hat. This hat is knitted and I can't knit. It was a gift from me from my good friend Gary from Urban Yarns. Um, I will put a link to his channel below. He does have a free pattern available on his um, YouTube channel. You can find it there if you knit. Um, and I do have a pattern for that poncho there, if I remember. Um, I will put that below in the description box, also in the comment section. And if I forget, which I probably will because I have a short-term memory, um, you can find it under my playlist of ponchos. All right, so let's begin. So, um... I, I heard of, of this um, uh, di yarn dyer from <laughs> another YouTuber, my good friend Granny D. If you don't know her, go check her out also, her YouTube channel. If I remember, I'll put links to all of them all, all below. Thank you, Granny. Um, she told me that I should really go check her out. So I went over there and um, her shop is called Crochet in Agreement on Etsy. I don't, I don't, I don't know her. Um, I was only recommended to her by a fellow YouTuber. Um, so, um, let's check it out, the yarn. So, as far as shipping goes, I ordered on July 7th, and it, it got to me on July 17th, which was in her time frame of the delivery estimate from, um... Etsy. Some dyers don't have yarns available at the moment, and some do. So they, you know, there's always an estimate. But yes, it came within the delivery time. It was shipped uh, USPS Priority Mail from Virginia to Illinois. Let's check it out. So, it's wrapped in brown paper. <laughs> I'll try not to cut myself. You know, I went to her site, and what I really found interesting about her hand dyes is she hand dyed acrylic and cotton, which is something that you don't see a lot. Um, I don't really know a lot about yarn dyeing, dyeing um, but from what I've heard, it's not easy to dye acrylic. It's different processes than it is dyeing, like, you know, merino and stuff like that. So prices are pretty reasonable actually so oh the small walmart box i get these all the time <laughs> it's still always ship giveaways in okay let's open up this i love hand dye yarn i do hopefully if it's good you guys will go check her out also it says her name is um melissa i believe okay <laughs> i'm super excited no, I love to see new yarns, especially hand dyed. Those can be some of my favorites. Oh, brown paper. Lots of it. Envelope. <laughs> it looks pretty. <laughs> How exciting! See what this says. All right. So yes, her name is Melissa. I have a uh, stitch marker there, and then a card with all her shop info. So it came with the stitch marker, and a pack of or a thing of tea. I'll tell you what. I am not a tea drinker. I absolutely cannot stand any type of tea unless it's so loaded with sugar that it's almost like syrup but um there will be there are a couple tea drinkers in my house that i'm sure will drink this yes thank you so much for that that's great that's awesome and a card i may read it sometimes i read these aloud so my don't sometimes i don't um She's just saying thank you for supporting her shop, and that she hopes that I enjoy her yarns. Um, and she's saying that um, 
It says, uh, as I'm sure you're aware, acrylic yarn dyeing isn't usually something that is done successfully. He has many attempts and fails. She finally figured out how it can be done. She said she did it for fun at first. Then I had so many people asking that she decided to put it in her Etsy shop. Okay. A rest, I'm going to keep this for me. Okay. Um, thank you. Thank you very much for that. Okay. Yes, invoices with prices. That's always the best, right? Okay. Let's check it out. I want to check it out together. Together. Going on here. Okay. All right. Well, let's do this. Okay. So this one is. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to be very good at these. <sighs> okay. This one's called Rapture. Rap Rapture. Um. Okay, so it is very pretty. It is a, a number three weight there, you can see, which is a DK. She has that circled. This is her label. Hooked in, or crocheting in agreement. And she has the color raise handwritten on there. Lightweight three, 100 grams, 241 yards approximately. Oh, this is 100% superwash merino. So this is a, uh, a merino. Um, okay. Okay, so these were for 100% superwash merino. Lightweight three. Um, and when I say 241 yards were... $14.99. I thought that was a darn good price for that. Smells very, very clean. I like that. Thank you very much. Um, sometimes I get yarns that don't smell too clean. Um, but yes, this is very nice. So this is a merino dyed very saturated very dark very beautiful these two are the same i like that very very nicely dyed good job okay i'm gonna move on because i do have quite a bit to show you i want to see some of this acrylic acrylic i see that she hot glued the labels on hot glue on them okay this one is called Yarn is Life. I like that name. <laughs> I'm going to have to agree with that. Um, these are also, uh, these are 100% uh, fine superwash merino. They are a medium weight number four. Mm -hmm. um, 100 grams, 3.5 ounces, uh, 220 yards. So 220 yards for the yarn is life it's a very very beautiful blue very very pretty i really like that one i like that it's a number four which is an iron weight um these were 16.99 a piece again um i think that is a, a very nice and fair price for a very lovely hand dyed yarn in an iron weight that's that's very very pretty i'm speaking in u.s dollars too You know, I can make a hat out of that. I think this would match my hat not hate shirt better than this hat. Yeah, I'll probably keep these blues. Some of these I buy for giveaways. So when I do support indie dyers, I put some of their yarn in giveaways. That way I can show them on the giveaway and then the winner can have a chance to try them. And maybe they like them and maybe they'll share them with people and buy off them. That's what I do that for. So yeah, some I'll keep and some I put in giveaways. So let's move on and let's see what this is. 
This one is called Have a Blessed Day. Have a Blessed Day. Oh, this is acrylic. Okay. This is uh, an Aran medium weight number four. So it's a four weight yarn, 100 grams, 3.5 ounces, 126 yards of acrylic. These are $9.50 a piece. Use the same, yes. Those are pretty. Hand dyed acrylic. Feels good. Smells really good. <laughs> you know, it smells like a dryer sheet. Yeah, that's what it smells like. But not strong. Not strong. This smells, it smells nice. Nice and clean yarn. Oh, I like that. That's very, it's very pretty. So this is the acrylic. I like that. I heard that she dyes, uh, if you ask her, that she will dye um, Pacific colors for you. That's always good when um, indie dyers do that. Not a lot of them will do that, but some of them do. Nice. I like that one. Okay, I'm going to move on. I got a big box here. Oh, I think this is a bulky one. <laughs> I like I like bulky fives. This one's called, oh, this is six weight. I like six weights too. Okay, this one is called Eternity. Oh, I got four. These were ten fifty a piece. Ten fifty a piece. Um, so it's a super bulky number six, one hundred and eight yards of one hundred percent acrylic. It's soft. It's nice. Not good. I think that is actually a pretty good price. Ten fifty for that much yardage of a bulky six yarn and it's also hand dyed so um 100 yards of a bulky six let's check out her bulky six here there we go that's her six weight you know i think that's in between you know i call that a thinner six but it's still a bulky six nonetheless it's nice. It's very pretty. I really love the colors of that one. Now, obviously, I bought four for a reason um, that I was probably going to make something with it. So I probably will keep these. I do like them. They are very pretty. I like the purple and the black with that salt, that gray. That black turned into gray there a little bit. That's awesome. Very pretty. I think that's, that, that's a nice price for those. Yeah, here's my other two. For that much yardage for a bulky six. I mean can't get that anywhere else even if it's not hand dyed no I mean, not not really i don't think none that i can think of off the top of my head really <laughs> um but let's move on let's see what this one is the collar is called forgiven forgiven let's see if i can find it so these were $9.75. Let's read about them. Ooh, ooh. This is a lightweight three, which is a DK. 100 grams, 3.5 ounces, 212 yards, 232 meters. And this is a 51 cotton, a 49 bamboo blend. So this is a cotton and bamboo blend, hand dyed. Mm-hmm. Feels good. You know, this is a cotton that is definitely worth garment worthy. When I say that, I mean, I wouldn't need, definitely wouldn't use it for a wash rag. Um, it's definitely something that you could wear against your skin and make yourself a pretty top with it. I like that. I do. I do. I think that will have a, did, did I say the weight of it? Yeah, three weight. That would make a nice, something nice and drapey. 975. Uh, yeah. Worth every penny of that. I think that that's nice. I like that a lot. I do. Okay. I got two here. This one is called. These are both uh, both 100% acrylic, medium weight number fours. Um. This one is called a Majesty, and this one is called a Virtuous. 
Um, the yardage is a bit different. This has 177 yards, the Majesty, and this one has 185 yards, but both are 100% acrylic, medium weight number fours. 950, a Hank. They're both very pretty. It's cool seeing hand out acrylic like that. Very nice job. I like them both. Okay. Probably not going to be able to pronounce this one. You know I can't pronounce anything. <laughs> okay, so these were $6.95 a piece. $6.95. And they are called Via Della Rosa. I think that's correct. Um, and they are a medium weight number four, 100 grams, 170 yards of 100% cotton yarn, hand dyed cotton. Mm -hmm. Now this is a little bit stiffer than the one that is mixed with bamboo, but that would be expectable. Generally, bamboo mixed, mixed with cotton most of the time will be softer, but it's not a bad cotton yarn. $6.95 is pretty good pricing if you ask me. Hand dyed. It's very pretty. It's four weight. Thicker four. Hmm. Okay, so this uh is is still worthy of a garment. Um, as far as cotton goes, I would put it in the middle. Um, it's not the softest cotton that I've ever felt, but it's definitely, um, you can make a garment with it. I don't think it's not going to bother you at all. So yes, it's very nice and you really can't beat that price. And the blue is very, very pretty with the speckles in it. I like that one. Very nice. Very nice. I'm moving on. Got a lot of blue up in here. <laughs> Lots of blue. Okay, this one's called Grace. Hmm. Okay. Hand dyed acrylic. 950 a ball or a hank for the hand dyed acrylic here. And it's a four weight, 177 yards of a 100% acrylic. I like it. It's a soft acrylic yarn. Reminds me of like, uh, oh. I don't know. It reminds me of how uh, if I had to pick a, a, an acrylic, a 100% acrylic, to compare it to maybe um, as far as softness goes, I'd probably say maybe Premier Basics, you know, because that's my number one favorite value uh, acrylic. Um, so it's soft like that. It's very, it's very nice. Yeah, very scarfable. I like that one. Very pretty. Nice job on that. Okay. Okay, 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 I'm going. What do we got here? Okay, so this one is called Anointment. Number four weight, 100% uh, cotton, 180 yards. Um, this one feels actually a lot softer than this blue one right here. I don't know, maybe it was just a different base, but this feels very nice. Very, very garment worthy on this one. <clears throat> um, $7.99. Yeah, that's nice. I, I like I like this one a lot as far as the way it feels as uh, the cotton, 100, being 100% cotton hand dyed, it feels really, really nice. Almost in, um, almost, almost in comparison to Lion Brand's Pima Cotton. Almost, not quite. I really love that yarn, but this is really nice. It is a really nice uh, soft cotton yarn. This anointment color. Like I said, it could be any of the different bases between this one and this one. Because these are both 100%. This one's just not quite as soft as that one. But it's still very pretty. Like it. Good job on that. What are these little things? What are you little things? Let's see what we got here. Blessed Assurance. Blessed Assurance. Okay. These were $4.99 a piece. Ooh. These will have to go in a giveaway because they're a one weight. Not into the one weights. <laughs> it is 50 merino, 
25 alpaca and some or 25 acrylic 492 yards in this little hank here it's very pretty it is i got three of them three of them for 4.99 each that's a lot of yardage actually well it's a one weight i mean i don't i couldn't use it in unless I put them together. I'm not a huge fan. I'm working with two yarns at the same time. But like I said, I did buy things to put in giveaways. Those are really pretty. Good job on those. Very good price for those two. I'm almost done here. And then um, I'll be out of your hair. Did I already show you this one? I think I already showed it to you. Maybe I didn't. Redemption? I don't know if I showed it or not. I don't think I did. It's possible. It's possible. I'll show you again though, just in case, just in case I forgot. This is uh, Superwash Merino. Okay, these are fourteen ninety nine, one hundred percent Wash Merino. It is a DK weight, which is a lightweight number three. Um, Two hundred forty one yards. Very nice. Very pretty. Very clean. Very much. Feels like Superwash Merino. I think that's gorgeous. Nice job on that. I like the colors. I got a lot, a lot of blue. I'm just thinking blue, I guess. And I didn't even realize that. And I'm wearing all my hat and I hate stuff. It's just a coincidence, maybe. Thinking blue. Very pretty. I like that. Good job on that. $14.99, I said, for those. Good good price for uh, hand dyed. Uh, merino like that. I'm gonna make sure I haven't uh, showed you some of these already because it's possible that I could have. Okay, I have not showed you this one. This one's interesting. Um, yeah. Seems like some are different bases than others. I don't know. This one's called Third Day. Third Day. Uh, 950. It's a medium weight number four, 177 yards, 100% hand dyed acrylic. This one's shiny. I don't know, but it's really soft. This is the shiniest one so far. I like that one. It's pretty. Hmm. Acrylic. It's interesting. You can see the shine on that. So cool. I like that one. Um, this one's called Eden. Eden. $9.99 a piece. Uh, medium weight number four, 100% polyester. Ooh, hand dyed polyester. Again, with the blues I go. Feels like Lion Brand's, um, feels like butter yarn or the Red Heart Amore. That is exactly what it feels like. It's very soft. In case you never felt those yarns, it does feel just like those. I like it. Um, so, four weight, 100 grams, 191 yards. Nice. I got two of those. I told you, $9.99 worth every penny. That's some soft, soft stuff. But if you felt either of those yarns before, you probably know that it is a very, they're very soft yarns. I wouldn't even know a difference if I was crocheting with this that I wasn't using either one of those yarns other than it's hand tied, it's hand dyed. <laughs> it's cool. Okay. A little bitty Hank here. Tiny Hank. I'm almost done. I know I said that a little bit, a little bit ago, but I, um, this was uh, $4.99. Can't pronounce the name of it. There you go. Um, it, oh, it's a two weight. So it's a sport weight. 50 grams, 218 yards. It's 40 merino, 40 acrylic, 20 polyamide. Nice, pretty. Again, with the blues, I go. Round and around with the blues. Oh, it's me and blues this time for some reason. I like blue though. Blue's pretty. <laughs> I do. This is nice. It's very soft. Again, it's something I'll have to throw in a giveaway. I can't use that lightweight yarn. But it's gorgeous. It is. 
I have just a couple more. This one I think I already showed you. No, I didn't. I didn't show you. Hey, guess what? And it's not blue. It's not. These are more my colors. I don't. This one. <laughs> um, this one is called Cozy Fox. Okay, I just had to read her letter here because I could not find this on my invoice. This is these two she actually sent to me um, for free. I do not, thank you very much. I really appreciate that, but I do not accept free yarn. So these definitely will be going into a giveaway. But these are called Cozy Fox and it says they were inspired by another YouTube channel, another YouTuber. So yes, they are very, very beautiful. I love them very much. Yes, but you can expect those in a giveaway very pretty um there were a couple more in here that i actually purchased that were inspired by other um youtube channels um that i showed you the have a, have a blessed day and yarn is life yes all right so this is the last one here i'm going to show you this is uh called charity Okay, these are $9.50 a piece. Again, it's the very soft four-weight acrylic. This one I really like um, a lot. It's very, very pretty. Um, 177 yards of the four-weight acrylic. I like it. $9.50. It's beautiful. It smells good. That's it. That's all I got. Yes, yeah, some very beautiful, beautiful yarns. Um, I would recommend people to check out her shop. I'm not sure what she has there now because I haven't been on it in 10 days. I was waiting to see what this this was like. Um, so overall, I, I love everything. Like I said, I got carried away with the blues. I think the hand-dyed acrylic is awesome and it's very soft and very reasonably priced. And your hand-dyed merinos are also super reasonably priced i mean and that is gorgeous this one I, i'm going well these ones i'll keep these are hand dyed merinos for myself probably i love those colors and i have to keep these blues they just remind me of somebody and i want to keep them and then um i really really like this one that i just pulled out the charity I'll probably keep those now a lot. Oh, and I'm going to keep these bulky sixes because obviously I had something in mind because I ordered four of those. Now, a lot of this stuff I said I will, you know, keep putting giveaways and stuff. But yes, um, I think she did an excellent job. You guys should check, check her out on Etsy. I will put a link below um, to her Etsy shop and you guys can see what she has. Um, I like it all. I do. Um, the cotton was nice, um, especially um, the cotton bamboo blend. And then this one, 100% cotton, was a different base than the other. It was a little softer, but both were just fine. And I think the dye jobs were cool. The polyester was awesome. I mean, I really think that was really soft and nice. So that's it. I'm going to give her a thumbs up. I think she did an excellent job. And I think that if you guys bought from her, you wouldn't be disappointed. I'm not disappointed in anything I got. Her colors are all vibrant. I'm so intrigued with the hand dyeing of the acrylic. I think the prices of them, of them all were excellent below what a lot of people <laughs> charge for hand dyed. So very, very, very nice job. So thank you very much. Um, and thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Okay. Take care. Bye-bye.